Bye-bye. Farewell. Hey -oh. Need help? What up everybody? This is your boy DJ Mixmaster and welcome back to Soul Calibur 6. Haha. -ha. Last video we ended up exploring well not exploring but meeting up with a guy named maxi who was on the same mission as us at, at the time to go to our second vision and to close it up to close it up to kind of help extend our own life and now that that's been completed we're gonna go ahead and continue so let's go ahead get started the man in black I was resting after absorbing the astral fissure when I heard footsteps approaching. Moments later, a group of people dressed in black appeared. The condition, reduce your opponent's health below a certain level to win. Okay. Let's start. The astral fissure is gone. And I think I spied the culprit. What happened here? I do not know, however, something feels off. It may be something in their possession. We must deal with this at once. You stay back. As the man in black readied his weapon, a chill ran down my spine and I felt a rush of bloodlust. I do not know what you are. But I know you possess unnatural power. Show it to me, if you dare. Fight. So Your this is a nut. This is one of the other new characters in this game called Grow, I think. Not bad. The man relaxed his stance and put away his weapon, causing a stir amongst his allies. Are you certain? Is it really wise to let an outsider get away? I have obtained all the information I need. Who are you? Hey, what's going on? Fall back. Sir. Sir. Maxie ran over and stared hard at me before speaking. You okay? What was their deal? And what was with that weird, what was with the weird get up? Hagan returned and he also realized something was wrong. I found some water. Did something happen while I was gone? Yeah, Axton was attacked by some freaky group. A freaky group? Like bandits? It didn't look like bandits. Well, at least everyone's safe. I think our way ahead, way ahead safe, but we should stay alert. Those freaks may come back. Chapter 2, Spirit Scales. Hmm. Ah, we're here at Dhaka. This is one of the places that uh, our trainer talked about 
that I should meet someone here. I think this is uh, uh, maybe a blacksmith or something like that here. I can't remember, but I should meet someone here if I happen to come this way. If we get to meet that person. All right, greetings and farewells. Both greetings and farewells were to be found in Dhaka, where Maxi's employer awaited us. The condition? Your opponents move more quickly. Defeat them all. Okay. So it looks like we have a pat pirate with the hoop dow, so that's Song Mina. The Great Maul, that's Astaroth. The Damacus Blade, that's uh, Mitsurugi. So we have three people to face off against. Let's go ahead and get started. Forgive me, but this is where I must take my leave. Where are you off to in such a rush? I have heard rumors of strange happenings in my hometown of Yangon. My brother is still there, and I worry for his safety. That's too bad, but I get it. It's been short, but a whole lot of fun. Take care. A safe journey to you, too. Farewell. With a bright smile and a small bow, Haran left. Axton, I have to report to my employer. You go and wait by my ship. Head to the docks. You can't miss it. I'll give you your cut of the reward there. See ya. He may be noble, but like I said, he is a pirate. I hope he doesn't screw us over. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? No, I don't want to anger them. What's going on? Oh, hey, Kim. This weirdo just showed up. Says he's got, biz eh, got business with Maxie. That's so. Guess that means Maxie trusts him. Looks that way. The cap If the captain likes you, you must be pretty tough. So how about you show us how tough? Next. Next. Okay. You actually managed to hit me. Oh, you got owned, son. All right. All right, Maxi and his crew. That was a fine show, matey. Hey, I'm back. Where's the warm welcome for you, Captain? Welcome back, brother. Your yeah, eyes is all worried. So what's the story with this landlubber? This crew is my savior. We gotta thank Axon here for making sure our employer is happy. What I say about looking before you leap, Maxi? Remember what happened last time? Oh, quit your belly aching. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? <laughs> you gotta love Maxi. Harsh words aside, Kim didn't really seem angry. He must be used to Maxi's flights of fancy by now. So you know, my crew is my family. They look rough, but they're a good bunch. You said you were looking for a thing, uh, um, astral fissure? As a man of my word, I'll help you. 
There you go again, leaping before you go looking. <laughs> ah, so, what's this astro fissure business anyways? I'll tell you once everyone's here. I need the whole crew on board with this. Here's your share of the bounty, by the way. Maxi handed me a bag of gold coins. True to his word. Respect. It's gonna take a while to get ready, so what do you so do what you gotta do in that time? This town's got a lot of shops and some great places to eat. Why not check them out? Two thousand gold coins. The shops. You now have access. Asset at you can now access shops in Dhaka where you can buy goods and exchange currency. The general shop exchange gold for food and weapons. Currency exchange exchange gold and Soul Caliber Sixes Universal Currency Soul Points. Soul Caliber has two types of currency, gold and soul points. Gold is saved in individual Libra of Soul data slots. It cannot be used in other modes. You can get more from the currency exchange as needed. So you have gold used only in Libra of Souls. Like it says, gold will be used to purchase, you know, weapons, purchase, I think, armor. I don't know about the armor weapons, but I think so, along with uh, food and other stuff. Now, it's only basically exclusive to this game mode. While you have Soul Points, which is the universal currencies in Soul Calibur 6. Uh, I think I saw this in, in someone else's video. I think it's like a thousand or ten thousand gold for like ten Soul Points or something like that. I can't remember the exchange rate right now, but we'll figure that out because we're going to go and check that out and see what's the conversion rate. But. That will allow us to go outside this game mode to unlock, you know, features in this game, you know, characters, stuff in the museum and all that kind of stuff. The museum, that's characters, weapons, and armor pieces, and all, all the stuff like that. So let's go ahead and close. The currency exchange. So let's see, exchange gold for SP. So it's 5,000 gold for 100 SP. Now I don't know what stuff costs in the museum, so we're not gonna convert just yet. Let's go to the shop. Weapons. Is there a weapon for me? Hmm. Let's purchase this. Items. Okay. Grab this, I might want some extra counters or whatnot. Okay. So the critical rate decreases back to zero, but it has greater power, and it has a bonus on it. Okay. Alright, we're going to exit out of this momentarily.
and then come back. I want to see what's in the uh, museum to see if there's something I might want to convert my points, uh, my gold to points for. So I will catch y'all in a bit. All right, so we're back, and it looks like everything that I could possibly get for soul points right now is just for either cre the custom creation characters or in the museum. Just like it says, it's the museum, just visual stuff, you know, stuff from the art book and all that kind of stuff. So, for right now, we're just going to keep our gold. So, let's see. Let's go with the Merchant of the Wetlands, Guard Duty. The Merchant Guild in Dhaka was trying to repair a water gate, but progress was constantly being interrupted by bandits. They needed a guard, and who was I not to heed their request? Okay, only, let's see, the conditions, only reversal edges and their follow-up attacks are effective. Okay. So we're gonna have an enemy with the Damacus Blade, that's Mitsuugi. The Octagonal Rod. So that is uh, Siegfried. Just two enemies, okay. The Mengal city of Dhaka lies on the edge of a wide tract of wetlands. While the port is lively with trade ships traveling the neighboring tributary of the Great Gaines River, development of a land route lags behind. The land route is merely a wooden path that stretches across the marshy expanse that surrounds the city, points where it must cross the conflux of the many twisting streams and canals are hard to reach and poorly maintained, which limits traffic. First time on a wooden road, be sure to watch your footing. My client is a prominent merchant in Dhaka. The merchant guild he runs has hired me to guard over repair work on the road. The path ended abruptly at a large sandbar. It looks as though much of the bridge that should have been there had been washed downstream. Uh, I didn't think the damage would be this bad. Well. Get the work, everybody. Everyone. I'm so so I'm so stupid. <laughs> I keep a sharp sharp eye out for trouble. Everyone's scared of the bandits said to roam this area. Flooding caused by a broken water gate last month caused trade to grind to a halt. However, brigands robbed and drove away the workers sent to repair the problem, so little progress has been made. How does it look? Well, parts of the entire road were swept away, so we need to bring in lumber. It'll be 10 days at the earliest. I see. I was afraid that would be the case. Well, I have business in the city to attend to. Continue your work. Trouble came that night, not long after the merchant left. Here in search of more easy pickings, it looked like the brigands that had been impeding the repair work had shown up. I stood against them. It was my job after all. You're in our way. Go down. Now for your Woo! 
Ten days after I drove away to Brigham's, the repairs were complete and the land, the land route opened again. However, I had a feeling that the end of this story was yet to come. Daka is leveled up. Leveling up towns and shops. The town is leveled up. Towns can be leveled up by assisting others via missions that become available as you progress through the story. As a town levels up, its shops will stock better merchandise and its facilities will improve. So make sure to take missions to help others. Cool. So since it leveled up, is there anything for me? No new weapon. I see, I already bought this, right? Yeah, that's what I'm using now. Scrap. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, start on our next mission, family. Dhaka, a city of trade and commerce, located a short distance upriver from the harbor. It wasn't that well known yet among travelers, but it was starting to carve a name for itself as a key point on the east-west trade routes. I wandered aimlessly through crowded streets where the hustle and bustle seemed to never cease. And visit the market. As I explored the busy market, I picked out a woman's cl clear voice through the clamor. Hey, you remember those rumors about demons in the village near here? The ones that started about a year ago, right? They frightened me something awful. I heard all the demons have been taken care of for good. Really? It's true. I bet we have the qualifiers to thank for that. Say what? I think that was me who helped out with that one, damn. Are you still obsessed with them? You need to get your priorities straight. Come on, Slowpoke. Hey, wait up. As they disappeared from view, I tried to recall where I heard about the qualifiers before. Did it hit me? They were the ones I fought by the Astral Vision. There you are. They're looking for you. Captain's got something you want to hear. I followed Maxie's crew member back to the ship. You heard of Yangran? It's a port in me. Recently, no one's been able to get in or out of the port there, I heard. The info came from a reliable source. They say the place is covered in a red mist and it came might have and it might have had something to do with an epidemic or something. And a lot of trouble with crime there too. Haran said something strange was going down in Yagan. Judging by what we found out, there's a good chance that astral fissures appeared there. Haran, he was probably heading straight for a maelstrom. The thought chilled me to the bone. We'll take it to Yangan if you like, quicker than going by land. I gratefully accepted Maxie's offer. Once preparations were complete, we were to meet at the ship. Whoa! Exploration. You can now explore different areas along the main route of your journey. 
Through exploration, you can discover missions, gain levels, and collect weapons to make your character stronger. How to explore. Choose the explore surrounding area from the area menu to explore it and move the cursor with the directional pad to select an area you want to explore. You may be attacked by enemies on your way to your destination. You will also not automatically heal while traveling, so efficient use of weapons and food is essential. Ah, so that's the reason why I was, that was stupid. That was stupid of me to waste that cake. If you are defeated, exploration will end. All expenses will be deducted, and you will return to the area you started from. Oh, damn, that sucks. So you really gotta be careful. Remember to keep an eye on your health. Okay. Missions. In Libra of Soul, there are numerous kinds of missions you can take on. In red, story missions. These are the main missions that revolve around the story. In the green, other missions. In these missions, you will meet and battle against many different people. Uh, the missions that require you to fight, which is the sword, those categori categorized as story or quest missions can be played again from the player menu. However, after, after you completed these missions once, each sub subsequent sub sub whatever completion will only award gold. Okay. Again, kind of like an RPG s kind of game mode, make it so that you can't just repeat easy missions over and over again to get XP. Okay, that's fine. So let's do an exploration. Level 7, level 10. Okay, was it 14? 10? Oh, that's back at Witch Cods. Okay, so let's go here. Capture the Cinnamon Thieves. Yep, let's do it. No, let's just leave it. Let's see. Criminal invasion. A bandit lived out of nowhere to block my path. I had no choice but to fight. Okay. Let's go. Ah, Taki. Almost close to leveling up again. Ah, the Shish Kebab and the Holy Antler, a weapon for Raphael. All right. Capture the Cinnamon Thieves. Celion is a major producer of cinnamon, a spice favored by royalty and the upper classes. One of the island's plantation owners came to meet, came to me with a request. All right. Conditions: Your opponent moves more quickly but takes a great deal of damage from counter hits. Defeat them all. So we have a bandit using. That's probably who, uh, Shanghua, probably. Another who is using Astaroth. A third enemy using Tira. All right. Hey, that sucks. I'll face off against someone using Tira, but I can't get the character just yet. Uh -huh. That's all right, though. 
Let's go ahead and start. There had been regular thefts from a cinnamon farm, and the manager asked me to stop them. I waited in hiding near a storehouse for processed cinnamon. After a while, a group of people arrived. I moved to stop them from entering, and a band of ruffians fell upon me. captured the thieves and took them to the manager. They were youths from a neighboring village. The manager was pleased with my service and provided me with a wealth of expensive spices. Your soul surges in your body. All right. Let's see, continue, why not? That was a bit too far. How about here? Memories of Drona, Tilak the Warrior. Funds required, current funds, I'm good, yeah, let's do it. Let's go again. The king's fool. The fool laughed scor scor scornfully at me and challenged me to a battle. If I win, I would be rewarded handsomely. Conditions, the stage is slip. oh. God, I hate ice ice effects. I really do. Making it tricky to move around. Defeat your opponent within the time limit. Oh, great. Not only do I have crappy movement, but there's a time limit, too. Great. All right, let's get this over with. All right, memories of Drona, Tilak the warrior. Master Drona's invitation in hand. I went to see the warrior Tilak. This is one of the people that I was uh, talking about. That uh, Drona told me who I should meet. When we met, he told me he was 
refraining from going into battle. Conditions. Critical edges do more damage and your soul gauge fill up, fills up more quickly. Okay. A reward of the Domicus Blade level 8. And he's the same as us. Siegfried. Alright. A level 9 versus a level 10. Let's get started. Lord Drona himself sent you to me? Unbelievable. The man who called himself Tila cast an apologetic glance in my direction after he scanned the letter of introduction from Drona. To be honest, I don't have time to deal with a stranger wandering in from the dark. I may not be heading off to war with the soldiers, but I'm still very busy. As if Tilak had issued a command, the men standing to attention on either side of me all readied their weapons in unison. I quickly readied mine as well. Hold. If I dishonored Lord Drona's request, I would be spitting in the face of my father and family. More importantly, from the looks of it, none of you could match this one in a fight. So you recognize my skills, huh? Axton, was it? I find myself suddenly interested in you. With that, Tilak slowly, eh, Tilak slowly rose. I shall accept your request for a duel. Now, show me the techniques you have learned from Lord Drona. Walked into that sun? Not only have you demonstrated great skill and fearsome techniques, but also incredible poise. I yield, great warrior, and I present you with this. Tilak gestured and one of his people brought over a package which he handed to me. This is a weapon my father planned to present to Lord Drona, but I believe you, Lord Drona's disciple, are worthy to wield it. I wondered what kind of history there was between Tilak's father and Drona. As if he had read my mind, Tilak laughed. My father has something of a rivalry with Lord Drona. Despite being the elder and the more skilled, my father knew that one day Lord Drona would overtake him, and that terrified my father. However, he vowed to be graceful in what he saw what, eh, what he saw as his inevitable defeat. In his will, he bequeathed this weapon to Lord Drona as a token of his respect, but now, I want you to have it. Drona would likely be very, very happy to hear this. The Dama Damacus Blade Level 8. We're going to end the expedition for now. All right, so with all of that finished, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video, I have no clue what we'll be doing. Maybe we might do a little side mission. Maybe we might continue with the story, who knows? So like and comment on the video, subscribe for more gameplay. And with that, see ya. Peace.